Hello everybody, good morning. It is the 18th of March. It's Thursday. I'm getting my vaccination later for COVID-19. So if you're watching this in years to come, um, we are having our rollout of our vaccines. I'm getting mine this afternoon, well, this evening in fact. So um, that's exciting. So how are we all everybody? Everyone okay? Good morning, Kaz. How's your dog? How's your kids? Hope everyone's okay. How's your husband? Um, we are going to crack on with this class in a moment. Just a little reminder, this is our fitness Pilates. So that means that it's not for absolute beginners. Good morning, Mary. So if you're an absolute beginner to Pilates or exercise generally, this is not a good starting point for you. This is for people who've done a bit before. Hi, Sam. You've got a bit of an understanding because obviously I can't see you. I want to make sure you stay safe and you don't do yourself a mischief. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Hilary. Ah, oh, that's a nice thumbs up there. Um, so, um, if you're a complete beginner, go to my other classes, go to my Pilates for All. That's a much better starting place. Everybody else, you guys, you know what you're doing. So we're going to crack on. I've got my hand weights. I've also got my band for a bit of stretching at the end. Um, it's our 35 minute class with our five minutes of relaxation. Good morning, Joan and Lorraine. Good morning, Kathy. Hello, everybody, Kathy. Um, so we're going to do our 35 minute, five minute relaxation at the end, 30 minute class. We're going to do, oh, have I got some fun for you today, planks. We're going to do Superman. We're going to do some leg lowering. We're going to do some bridges. We're going to do some down dogs. Yeah, we are going to pretty much cram everything in um, today. So be ready. Take a break when you need to. Do what feels good. And we're going to start off. Are you all good, Kaz? Oh, that's nice to hear. So I'm just going to take my glasses off because they're going to fall off anyway. I now can't see who's there. So hello to everybody as you arrive. Right, let's get sitting down. My mat's got some wet patches on it. I just was giving it a clean and uh, it's a bit wet still. So I'm going to, hopefully you don't see those. So we're going to sit cross leg to begin with. Now, remember we've talked about cross leg before. If it's too much for your hips, sit on a cushion. Today I'd say that's quite hard on my hips, but it's quite a good hard. And we talked about sweet pain and sour pain. And sweet is when you know it's a stretch or an effort, but it's under control and it's manageable. Sour is that sharpness, like you've bitten into one of those horrible sweets with the kind of sour sugar on the outside. Um, we don't want sour pain, so it makes you kind of go, Ugh, that's not good, stop what you're doing. If it's kind of, oh, that's fine, you're gonna live with that. So make sure you're sitting lovely and tall for me. Put in those tumblers. I'm a bit snotty today, I do apologize. I think it's hay fever. <laughs> Great, already. So lovely and tall. Tuck your chin down, suck your tummy muscles in. Take a breath in. And exhale. And again, breathe in. And exhale. I'm going to do some little gentle side bends. I'm going to put my hands on the floor. Good morning, Diane and Brendan. I'm assuming Brendan's there as well. Good morning, everyone else who's arrived. I can't see because I've taken my glasses off. Little bend over, hold. Other way, little stretch over, hold. Now remember we are stretching fingers as far away from hips as possible. Two more, over we go, stretch. One more, over we go. Excellent, bring yourselves up into the center. So this is just a little warm up to get us going before we head into our energetic, dynamic class. Oh, those are scary words, aren't they? Two more, one more. Let's do our side bends again. Start nice and gently. And I'm working with a beat, but you really don't have to. It's only because I'm an, an aerobics instructor at heart. <laughs> Can't help it. That's it. If you feel your legs are too uncomfortable, by all means sit with them straight out in front of you. Let's go over and hold it. Over and hold, stretch. Good, bring yourself back. Let's go the other way. Stretch. Good work, two more. Remember you're keeping your bottom glued. It's not a competition how far you can bend. It's about getting that stretch and we'll all be different on that. Hands back up to the middle, little twist, twist and back. Do your best not to fall over backwards. Not a good start to a Thursday morning. Four more. Four. Three. Four. 
three, last two, two, last one. Oh, well done. Get those legs out in front, give them a little shake. We're going to do some very small little tilts and rollbacks, only tiny. This is more about mobilisation than anything else. So sit lovely and tall for me. Tuck your hips under, a little roll back, and then come up, really small. So it's not a proper roll back, believe me, we'll be doing lots of other stuff. You won't miss it. I just want you to get low back working. Couple more. Let's do two more. And one more. Excellent, well done, lovely. Okay, we're gonna start with the worst. We're gonna get over onto our fronts. We're gonna start with plank. Now we're gonna do on our elbows. You could do extended arm plank if you prefer, but we're gonna start off for now anyway on our elbows. So with plank, you need to choose the level you can work. My knees are out behind. I'm trying not to hunch up, so get that back nice and flat. Tummy muscles pulled in, everyone breathe. Exhale. We're gonna put a few moves together. Let's start learning them. First one, you tuck your foot under. Other foot goes under, hold, sink into your heels, bring them both down. Have a little rest. Let's, well, it's not really rest, is it? It's plank. Toe under, other leg under, and then down. Good. That's our first move. Next move is going to be a jackknife. So you tuck your toes under, and it's a bit like a down dog, but you're on your elbows. Then come back. It's a strange one. Honestly, it is. Let's do it again. Up. Back down. Good. Have a little rest. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I don't like that, then just leave the jackknife out and stick to the knee up, knee down thing, yeah? So just adapt it. We're going to put those two things together on your elbows. Everyone breathing. Here we go. So it's foot under. Foot under. Jackknife. Back down, knees down. Let's go again. Foot under, foot under. Tummy's on strong, jackknife. Back down. One more time before we change it. Foot under, foot under. Jackknife. Bring yourself back down. Have a little sit back into child's pose quite tough, isn't it? I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Can't quite hear the music. How are we? Okay, so next time we do it, that's better, we're going to do it with extended arms. Okay, so extended arms this time. Breath in. One leg under. Other leg under. Good. Jackknife or down dog. Back down, put your knees down. Let's go again. So one foot, other foot, down dog, bring it back, knees down. Third time, last time before we change it again. Up you come. Back down, knees down, well done. So we're going to do those two different types of the same thing, back to back. To get up and down, we're going to do our commando crawl. So if you remember that one, they go great. So start here for me. So to come up, it's hand under, and then we're up there. And that's the way we're going to transition between those two positions. Get yourselves back. Oh, it's deep joy this this morning, isn't it? Make sure your knees are slightly apart. Breath in. Starting by taking that knee off the floor. Here we go. Next one. Jack knife. Bring yourself down, knees to the floor. Up you come onto your extended arms. Hold it here. Tony muscles pulled in. We're going to do the same thing, but now with those extended arms. Are you ready? Here we go. Leg. Other leg. Down dog. Bring yourself back down. Pop your knees down. Down you go onto those elbows. Sit back into child's pose. Have a little stretch. Back you come, we're gonna go again. Here we go, under, extend, extend. Jackknife. Back down, 
with your knees down. Up you come. Hold it here. This is quite a start to a Thursday morning, isn't it, everybody? Okay, just get your breath. Let's go again. Extend that leg. Other leg. Down dog. Plank, drop your knees down. Down onto your elbows. Good. Child's pose, back we go. Pop your head on the floor, arms down beside you. Just hold it there, everybody. How are we doing? It is tough. It's called Fitness Pilates for a reason. Now we're gonna put something else into the middle of that. Oh, brilliant, they all say. That's what we wanted. More. <laughs> so, you might wanna watch for a second. I'm on my elbows. I'm gonna have my legs off the floor. I'm going to take one leg to the side, other one wide. Hold it there. I'm going to take the back in again. Hold it there. And then we're going to rest. Now it is tough. You can always do it with your knees down and just move your knees to the side. Should we have a go together? Yes, yes. Come on, let's do it. Okay, one foot to the side. Out, out, hold. In, in. Hold. Let's try to do that one more time. Here we go. Out, out. Hold. Oh, this is hard work. In, in. Oh, well done. Have a little rest, everybody. Well done. I'm not going to put that into that sequence because I think you'll all just be switching off. So maybe we'll do that next time. We're going to come up onto our all fours. Oh, are we? No. Oh, I've got some more down dogs. We'll do it in a minute. Give those wrists a little shake out. Onto all fours. Okay. Now we like our all fours, don't we? We do our usual one. And we tap. Then we do the legs. Then we do the arms again. So this is a good chance to recover <laughs> from that last sequence. And then tap behind. Are you putting in your tummy muscles, everybody? Okay, let's try opposites. Here we go. This is out and back. Other side. Out and back. So we're doing quite quickly in a minute. We will slow it down. Don't you worry. Out and back. Two more. Now I want you to hold this one there. Hold it. Extend. Superman. Imagine you're flying around the earth. Pulling your stomach muscles, lift up your pelvic floor. Let's change over. Nice and steady. Try not to hurry. Extend. Powerful move. Good, bring it back. Okay. So, last time we went forwards, we did that, didn't we? We did it again. Two more. Now, hold it here for me. Knees down. I'm going to leg open to the side. So this is our beautiful cocking dog. So you lift your leg, bring it back. Let's go again. So lift to the side. Now, guess what? Of course, opposites. It's land of opposites. So try and open your arm out. I'm, try I'm not taking my hand too far because I want to make sure I don't fall over. And again, let's have a little rest. Let those wrists rest. Those. But give those bits a shake out. So you've got extension and you've got the side movement. We're going to put those together, four of the extensions and then four of the side movements. Try and keep it nice and controlled. I think we'll stay this pace, it's quite quick, then we'll slow it down. So shoulders back and relax, tummy muscles in. Are you ready for the opposites? Here we go. There's out. Four. Three. And then we change it to the side movement. Do you remember the cocky dog? Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to go slowly. So extension forward. Out, out. Back, back. Slow. Another one. Out, out. Back, back. Cocky dog, slow motion. Out, out. If you saw a dog doing this, I think you'd stop and give it a round of applause. 
Okay, go back to the quick ones, forward and back with the arms. Here we go. So it's forward, back. Get your tummies working, everybody. Cock and dog is four of them. So it's four, three, two, one. Now slow motion, extension forward and backwards. Out, out, back, back, tummies on. So I'm not nagging you too much about your posture because I know you're good at it, everybody. Out to side. But remember, it's all about keeping that core controlled and still. Do that one more time through. Quick ones, forward and backwards. Here we go. Out. Out. Breathe. Then to the side. Four. Three. Two. Ready for our slow motions. Here we go, dead slow. Out, out. Back in. Oh, work those tummies, don't hurry. Out to the side. One more. Good stuff. Everybody back, give your hands a shake out. Oh, tough. So yeah, wrists are getting a bit uncomfortable now. Give them a little shake out. Good work, everybody. Okay, we're gonna go on to our tummies. Give our wrists a little rest. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, good. Nice, strong bottoms. Okay, we're gonna start off with our forehead on our hands. And we're just gonna give our legs a little flutter. So imagine you're swimming, you're out in the ocean. You're having a little swim. Fluttering those legs. And it's only small, breathing, pulling your tummy up, that's it, keep it there, good, have a little rest. Now next one, looking down to the floor, hands are underneath your forehead, lift your forehead a bit and circle your hands and bring them back, circle, bring them back. So you could make it into a proper old breaststroke if you wanted to, or you could keep it small, one more, and then rest down. So you can probably really feel that back working. We're gonna add those together. Now, so first of all, get your legs going, get them going, get your head slightly off the floor, tummies in, little circle, back. Circle, back. Make it bigger if you like. Let's go for two more. Get those legs fluttering. Two, one more. Oh, well done. Okay, we're going to have a stretch. So hands under armpits. Push yourselves up. All the way back to cat stretch or child's pose. Head down. Arms relaxed. Ooh. Maybe have a little rock side to side. Well done, everybody. So we're going to go back and do those extensions again that we did a moment ago. And then we're going to go back down and do our swimming again. I'm going to run out of time at this rate. I plan too much. So, nice and balanced. Remember these to start with the quick ones. Yep, forward and back. Excuse me. Here we go. So it's forward, back. Forward, back. Two more. One more. Cocking dog. Don't let those hips move too much. Four. Three. Two, one. Now it's slow motion time. Here we go. Out, out, out. Back, back. And again. Out, out, out. Back, back. Cock and dog slow mode. And again. Lovely. Bring yourself down onto your tummies. Ready for our swing move. Yep, get those feet fluttering. Lift your head, here we go. We're going to do eight, that's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six, stop if you have enough. Number seven. And number eight. Oh, child's pose, back we come. 
nice and easy, cat stretch optional. I'm gonna bring my hands down beside me, have a little rock side to side. Just let everything loosen up. Well done, one and all. How are we doing? Oh. Okay, we're gonna roll onto our backs and now you will need your hand weights. So if you grab those, pop one either side, get yourselves down. Oh. Have a look at the ceiling for a while. So, make sure you've got room above you because we're going to be taking our arms overhead. Ideally, we're also going to be extending, so check you've got space for your legs that way as well. Good, shoulders back and down. Starting really simply, so tummies are pulled in. We're going to extend, bring it back in. Now, you could do this move all day long. I know you could. So we're going to make it a little bit harder. You're going to grab hold of your hand weights. Mine there. Okay. Bring your arms up in front. As one leg goes out, the opposite arm, you got it, goes over. Now, whilst this is a straightforward move, this also needs to be done properly. So I want you to watch the hand that's sticking straight up. That shouldn't move. So watch it staying still. Good. Keep going with the legs. Let's do both arms overhead. I want you to be careful you're not arching your back here, everybody. And ideally, we're not clonking our weights onto the floor with a big foot. They should maybe just touch very gently or not even touch at all. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. I do like that move. Bring both arms up there for me in front again. A little pelvic tilt up to a low bridge and then down again. Low bridge. Now, don't want those hands to move. So you're going to have to really concentrate so the hands stay put. Oh, mine wobbled a bit there. And again, a little tilt. I'm not going high in my bridge, everyone. It's quite low. Working through the whole spine. One more. Lovely, good. Put those weights down beside you. Up into a bridge, up we go. Hold up a nice high bridge for me. Bottoms on strong, pelvic floor's lifted. Breathe. Roll down halfway. And then go back up. Oh, dog barking again. Down halfway. And up again. Down halfway. Up again. All the way down. Down we go. All the way. Oh, good. Get hold of those weights again. Single extensions. One arm, one leg. And back in. That's it. So you can see the two moves we're combining. The extension and the lovely pelvic tilt to bridge. Both arms. The heavier the weights you've got here, the more you're going to work your core. But choose weights that you can control. One more. Good. Pop the weights down beside you. Pelvic tilt, low bridge, and down. Sorry, they should be up there. I should have forgot that. Sorry, guys. Hands up in the air. It's almost like I forgot. Not really. I didn't really forget. Yeah, I did. And again, little low bridge and down. Two more. Get that lovely pelvic tilt. One more. Good. Now the hand weights go down. I knew they went down at some point. Up to your full bridge. All the way. Loving high. Bottoms on. Feet nice and flat. Halfway down. And up. Halfway down. So I'm closing my eyes just to really focus on my back shape to make sure I'm curving that spine. This is lovely mobility for that upper back. Down you go, all the way. Okay. Now, one-legged bridge. Hip tilt, up, and then down. Now, if you have got very delicate hamstrings, you probably won't want to do this one. Stick with two legs. I'm not going high, guys. Look, it's nice and low. 
One more. Oh, good. Change over legs. So my knees right into chest. Here we go. Tilting up. Try and remember that pelvic tilt. It's quite difficult. It's easy to forget all about it. So do remember it. One more. Up we come. Oh, good work. Give those knees a rest in. We're going to do that whole sequence one more time through. If I get it right, I might not. It's just anything can happen, really. Okay, hand weights up in the air. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Extension. That's what I want you to really focus on here. Extension. Pointing those toes. Okay, it's both arms this time, so get your core on so you don't lift your ribs. Breathe out. Breathe in. Good work, everybody. Two more. One more. Hands stay up, I remember this time. Tiny bridge. Pelvic tilt. Tiny bridge. That's it. So we're really working on the low part of the back. And then the next bit we work on the high part of the back. Oh, it's almost like I planned it. Hands come down. Up to your nice high bridge. Up we go. Hold it here for me. This is when we go halfway down. So let's do it. Halfway down. Back up. Halfway down. So you can see that we're really focusing on certain parts of the spine. Rather than doing the whole thing in one go, upper body now. Good. All the way down. Finishing this little section off, almost to the end to be honest, with one legged bridge. So up we come. Now if you're really wobbly, get your hands a bit wider, brace your body. If you're finding it easy, how about hands across chest? Oh, that makes it harder. One more. And we're just removing our balance. So you could maybe halfway hands might be hands a bit closer. We're using our removing our balance aids, as I meant to say. It's a bit like having stabilizers on your bicycle. Don't see that often with adults. <laughs> Two to go. Last one. Good stuff. Give your knees a hug in everyone. Little rock side to side. As always, I've almost run out of time. We're gonna have a stretch now. So lengthen your body out, stretch those toes above, not above your head, <laughs> fingertips above your head, don't stretch your toes above your head, lengthen your legs away, lovely big stretch, oh, and then bring your one knee then the other into chest, give yourself a hug, head shoulders off the floor, roll up like a little ball, and let's go again, extend. Control that move, everyone always can put one foot down at a time if you prefer. Extend. And then in come those knees. I'm doing two at the same time, don't have to. Head comes in. Good, last one. Out you go, lovely long extension. Oh. Adding at least an inch to our height. And then in you come, knees come in. Up you come, head and shoulders tucked in. Fantastic. Feet to the floor. Cross your right leg over your left. Take both legs down to the left. You know this stretch. Lovely twist. Once you're there, I need you to try and relax. Now today, I'm really feeling this here around my bottom, around my shoulders. I went for a run yesterday, that's probably why. Looking the other way. Breathe in. Exhale. Good work. A little bit longer. Back slowly to the centre, making sure you're not hurrying. Other one goes over, you know what you're doing, don't you? Legs go over. Head and shoulders relax. Oh, put the foot on the chair. Look the other way. So we worked rather hard there today, didn't we guys? Goodness. And there's loads we didn't do. I think I got a bit carried away with that planning. Uh, we can do that next week. Sorry I, didn't, I wasn't here last week, by the way, everyone. I was just really poorly. Felt really, really rough. I was fine by 
in a foggy morning, but sounds great, rough as well. Well then, everything comes back in, last little hug of those knees, maybe give them a little bounce, perhaps rotate them round, round the other way. Quick hamstring stretch before we go into our relaxation, so bounce behind one foot, leg up in the air, oh, nice stretch we need to do after all those bridges. So see if you can pull that leg in just a little. So mine's feeling stiffer than normal. Again, because I went running yesterday and because of that bridge work. So I'm just being careful. I'm still doing the stretch, but I'm not assuming my leg's going to go where it normally does. Ease it through. Hold it there. Well done. Change over to your other one. So after this stretch, we're going to go into our relaxation, much very well deserved. And after our relaxation, we have a 10 minute break and we're going to go into our bite size strength and it's legs today. And we're going to do it lying down. Hooray! So no squats, no lunges. Still going to work really hard on our thighs and bottoms and hamstrings and things, but we're going to do it on a, uh, in a supine position. Bring that leg in a bit more. Fantastic, well done, release that leg down. Great work everyone, get yourselves nice and comfortable. Find my glasses, there we go. I shall put our relaxation music on. I can now see who's here. Oh, the McCann's are here, hello guys. Take my glasses off and then I haven't got a clue. Okay, so get yourself lying down. Taking some nice, slow, deep breath. And let's have our relaxation. Hello Claire, hello Dita, hello Deb, hello Karen, Carol, yeah I think I've said hello to most of you. Right guys, get yourselves nice and comfortable, take some slow deep breaths. This is your time, I'm not going to chat over it too much. I want you to take some deep breaths, let your body settle. Okay. Maybe get into your mind's eye a really positive image, something that makes you smile, makes you feel happy. And try and hold on to that. Keep mulling over that, enjoying those lovely feelings of happiness and comfort that that image gives you.
Okay, glad you bring yourselves back, guys. Sorry about the dog barking and the uh, slightly jittery Bluetooth connection there. Oh, joy. I hope it didn't interrupt your relaxation too much. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me this morning. That was pretty challenging, but I know you guys like a bit of a challenge. Um, if you're joining me, 10 minutes time. Oh, you just need to leave the stuff where it is because we're just going to use the mat and um, we're going to work on our bottoms and thighs and of course the core will be in there as well. So um, if you're leaving me now, that's absolutely fine. I will see you tomorrow. I have my jab later today, so if I'm feeling ropey, I may not do classes tomorrow. I'll see how I'm feeling. Assume they're on unless I tell you otherwise. Yes, pretty warm now, Carol. Yeah, I got pretty warm as well. And slightly out of breath as well. So that's got to be good, hasn't it? Well done, Mary. Um, you're, you're very regular now, Mary. I like that every day. Um, thanks, Joan. Fantastic. Great. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye, everybody. I'll go and sort the dog out now. <laughs>